On December 21, 1960, Interstate 5 opened in Tacoma. At that time, only 21,600 vehicles a day traveled from the King County line to the Port of Tacoma Road. In 1961, I-5 wasn't even linked with State Route 16. Our state highways have expanded to meet the needs of a growing economy. Tacoma and Pierce County have grown so much in just 60 years. But by the early 1990s, there were 151,000 vehicles on I-5 in Fife and Tacoma every day. This exponential growth prompted the Washington State Department of Transportation, or WashDOT, to expand the Puget Sound HOV program to Pierce County and Tacoma. This meant a lot of work was going to be needed on I-5, SR-16, and SR-167. The first project that expanded I-5 for HOV lanes finished in 2001 at the I-5 and 38th Street interchange. 14 projects and over 20 years later, WashDOT is opening HOV lanes from the Pierce-King County line to SR-16. This level of work takes time. It's like building an airplane while you're flying it. We had to keep I-5 and SR-16 open most of the time while making major changes. So, this work was done sequentially, one small piece at a time. It might have felt like one giant construction zone, but it was more manageable from a construction standpoint in bite-sized pieces. Each project sequentially laid the foundation for the next. The construction timeline was based on funding. The funding was spread over 20 years. In total, the Tacoma Pierce County HOV program represents a $1.4 billion investment. WashDOT opened its first HOV lane in Pierce County on SR-16 in 2007. Three years later, the first HOV lane opened on I-5 in Fife. Even as traffic volumes increased, WashDOT kept people moving. In 2009, the average daily traffic on the I-5 corridor through Fife and Tacoma was over 205,000 vehicles. That was a challenge for drivers and those working on the construction. To keep people moving, WashDOT required contractors to keep three travel lanes open during peak commute hours and only limiting necessary closures to overnight with very few long-term closures. It was a balancing act between the needs of traffic and the needs of construction. Travel lanes were moved into temporary locations while new bridges, walls, or lanes were added to the interstate. All of those activities are enormous undertakings, especially under live traffic. Building and connecting HOV lanes on I-5 through Tacoma meant we had to widen the interstate, often in places where there wasn't a lot of room. In many locations, the bridge piers of older I-5 overpasses at 38th Street, Yakima Avenue, Pacific Avenue, East McKinley Way, and L Street were located where future HOV lanes needed to be built. Six separate overpasses on I-5 were removed and replaced with new bridges built to current seismic standards. This work gave us room to build HOV lanes down the middle of I-5. On SR-16, the old Nally Valley interchange was rebuilt in three projects to accommodate connecting HOV lanes between I-5 and SR-16. Widening I-5 also gave us the opportunity to replace the original concrete roadway surface that had reached the end of its useful life. At the I-5 and SR-16 interchange, we recycled old concrete and used it to build new sections of the highway. Another key component of building and connecting HOV lanes from Fife to Tacoma was rebuilding the I-5 Puyallup River bridges. The 1960s era bridge structures did not meet current seismic standards and the design did not meet current operational standards. Work to modernize the I-5 Puyallup River bridges took place in three separate projects spanning from 2010 to 2022. The first project built a new bridge abutment that now supports the northbound I-5 lanes going across the Puyallup River Bridge. In 2015, the new northbound bridge was constructed first, with one travel lane opening on the new 1,569-foot-long bridge in October 2017. The remaining lanes opened in March 2018, and the project was completed later that year. Southbound construction began in 2019. In order to keep traffic moving during construction, north and southbound traffic was routed onto the newly completed northbound bridge while the southbound bridge was being constructed. Many obstacles needed to be overcome while working over the river, including the strategic placement of cranes around the existing highways, railroads, and water. Construction crews needed to build temporary platforms to access the worksite from the water and even used boats to navigate the site as well. 
the new southbound bridge with its 84 girders included a record-breaking 223-foot-long girder that was installed in January 2021. On April 1, 2022, five lanes opened on the new bridge. In the weeks that followed, crews finished building median barrier and striping to open the HOV lanes on I-5 through Tacoma. Our goal was to build HOV lanes. Along the way, we upgraded bridges, replaced aging roadway surface, helped the environment by improving stormwater ponds and drainage systems, and upgraded new electronic devices and added new travel cameras. For the first time ever, travelers can now use the HOV lanes from Gig Harbor on SR-16 to I-5 through Tacoma and into Fife without changing lanes. Drivers commuting south from King County can now use the HOV lanes across the Puyallup River. Now more than ever, we need HOV lanes that will move more people. Fewer cars on the road means less pollution. Completing the Tacoma Pierce County HOV program could not have happened without the support from our community partners. We also want to thank Pierce County residents who have seen generations grow up through HOV construction. Thank you for your enduring patience and support. For more information on this project, visit this website. Thanks for watching.